Fabric. This is the place to be right here, right now. 20 years celebrating the anniversary of Lecce's company, Aerosol Limited. Bad boy urban thread from back in the day, right here from London. Yes, it's drum and bass. Yes, it's the junglish movement versus Aerosol. And yes, king of the jungle, it is V recordings in the house. Room one and room two and room three going completely crazy in this place tonight. We're going to go and check it out. This is all about Killer Killer Podcast Live. History. This is human traffic. This is where I got my first break, and um, and the way it all happened was amazing. You know, I didn't even think the film would come to fruition, but seeing it now just brings back positive memories. You know what I mean? This is what set up my whole movement. You know, just this little clip of this guy in a record shop rocking the T-shirt. I've built a whole brand around that. You know, it's a movement, and when I see this, it just takes me back to my childhood. It reminds me of like raving in fields and. Do you know what I mean? And just going to all the jungle dances and A Wall, Paradise Club, and do you know what I mean? It's just I have so much love for that era. You know what I mean? The 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 essence of jungle drum and bass. Even pre that, it was hardcore, really hardcore breakbeats. But when I look at this, that's what it reminds me of. You know that the culture, the early days. Kels, favorite brand? Oh, so many. But I come from the 90s era, so I'd, I'd probably have to say like Fat Farm, you know what I mean? Echo. It's quite a few to be honest, I can't really name one. Oh, let me see now. That would have to be Vision in Winchester, the Excel tent. Um, yeah, that was around 93, 94, I think. Yeah, Vision. First international sale was Japan. And um, that was amazing. Tokyo, um, like 4,000 units. I was used to selling like tens and twenties, and I got that order. So yeah, Tokyo, Japan for a company called Mainford Distribution. Yeah. Oh man, it's hard. Uh, well, I mean, UK celeb. I would have to say um, Omar kicked things off. Omar, Neo Soul. 
Oh, wow. Mm. The event of fabric was really nice. So I've been trying to do an event of fabric for a long time. So to do it for my 20th anniversary, that was very special. And to get all the artists that I sponsor all in one night from different genres, jungle, drum and bass, and yeah, that, I'd say fabric. <laughs> Distribution. <laughs> we didn't talk about that at school. <laughs> we talked about putting it together. We talked about flossing, looking good. We talked about marketing, media, but they didn't tell us how we're gonna sell that shit. Distribution. <laughs> I've learned to distribute. I've, you know what I mean? I've learned to get my products to a, a wider audience and you know, looked at things from a different, um, from a different perspective. Oh, liquid funk. Oh man, my kids. My twin daughters, they're my biggest inspiration and um, I guess just like people that do similar things to me because I learned from like all the people that I watch coming up. Support the originators, not the imitators. Dig deeper and know what you're supporting and always buy the real deal. Don't think because you want to be cool and you take like a easy step and just get cheap shit because you want to be part of the gang. Don't do that. Represent the culture, dig deep, and yeah, that's what's up. This is Lekka Aerosol, and we rep it, Jungle's Movement, Hip Hop Movement. <laughs>